we all have routines. I, I look, I, I think I do all of my prep for work sometimes in my sleep, like getting dressed and taking a shower. And there are certain things that I think you just do in the same order every day. And what I'm concerned about is that there are some people that, well, some of these things are not part of the order on, on any day, which is frightening if you stand next to them. Oh, especially if you stand next to them. Like, hello. Under your arms, roll on or a stick. Either one will do the trick. Under your arms. Obviously, according to new research, there are some people that that is not part of their daily routine. What is the difference <laughs> between deodorant and antiperspirant? Those are one of the questions that is a, that that is often asked. Deodorant removes odor. Antiperspirant should stop you from sweating. And you can get an antiperspirant that is also a deodorant. Is that a fair explanation? That's 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 very very nicely put. A lot of people are are concerned about aluminum. And aluminum is a big part of or what, you know. We said in New Iberia, aluminium. That's right. <laughs> well, like brushing your teeth or washing your face, putting on deodorant might seem like one of those crucial hygiene. I mean, but what about your nose? Navage, you know. Um, your decision most likely is based on not only personal but cultural preferences. Yes. Um, and potential dermatologists say that it's kind of your choice. It is a choice that a lot of people are not making. Well, the thing is, yeah, it's it's your choice. It's so funny how we live in a world where you need to do this for the good of the others around you. Whether you want to or not, you need to do it. That should be a law for deodorant. Like, you should do it for the good of the others around you, right? Not, not everybody has the same kind of sensitivity that I do. No, smell is 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 your enemy. Yeah, it really is. I mean, everything else might be faltering at this point, but my nose is in good it shape. Works really well. <laughs> it, it does. You can you can smell somebody making microwave popcorn <laughs> at the bank two blocks away. <laughs> there was a show called Psych on that was a comedy show about detectives, and one of the guys, one of the characters, had a super sniffer. He was the super sniffer. It's like, yeah, that would be me. Anyway, I'm just gonna say this with love: love your neighbors, make good choices. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is when a cultural thing. When you make your thing. choices, make good choices. But I think what's interesting is the dermatologist, well, from a medicinal standpoint, from a medical standpoint, you don't need it. That's not what it's all about. It's not about that. It's about not sweating and not smelling. That's what it's about. This is not about, like, taking your vitamin every day. This is different, right? Why do dermatologists even need to be involved in this at all? Well, because it's about pores. It's about your skin. It's, you know. About the poor people that are next to the people that don't wear it. That That's what it's it. really all about. <laughs>